PHs, agent provocateurs are government plants, usually police, that are put in a peaceful protest to start violence, right? One of the places that you'll see what an agent provocateur is, is in 2008, in look this up, Higgs. I've, I've, I wrote articles on it back in the day. I've mentioned it during our live streams. I have links on it, but I don't have anything handy right now. Montebello, Montebella, Quebec. I believe the demonstrations were in 2008. Okay. And it was against the uh, SPP, PPS, SPP. Uh, it was about the trade agreement. Uh, between Canada, United States, and Europe, and stuff like this, and it was a peaceful protest. And the police, police, and it came down later on. It went to court, and they found out that the top, the head of the police department, had planted three police officers into a peaceful protest, right? And they had masks on, right? And they had this, they were so stupid, they had the same type of shoes on so government issued police issued shoes on they were holding rocks this is a peaceful protest where parents are walking around or are in the protest with care like carriages with children in it and they were trying to start a violent protest they were trying to turn a peaceful protest into a violent protest right and the person that had organized this peaceful peaceful protest right recognize that these three police officers these three protesters that were dressed the same way holding rocks and trying to throw rocks at the police and trying to start violence they were acting a little weird so he went hey you guys are cops you guys are police you guys are agent provocateurs and these three police officers dressed in civilian clothes in the protest were like no we're not he's like yeah you are what that what the hell why are you trying to start riot violence when it's a peaceful protest we're, we have a right to peacefully protest right and one of the reasons we know this is because the peaceful protest was marching right and in the front and we have video footage of this in the front what was happening was the police were becoming more violent right and there was a uh, and there were they were doing stuff and there was one independent journalist that was filming it and he didn't want to get caught up in the violence right i agree with him so he went to the back or to the middle he was working his way to the back of the 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 protest right the march and he noticed the scuffle happening between the organizer of the protest and these three agent provocateurs police officers trying to start shit up vi turn a peaceful protest into violence that way the state can justify using violence on the peaceful protesters right so he started filming this so what we saw was the these three police officers were backed against the wall against the corner and they slowly made their way up to the police line and they whispered something to the police the the people who the police officer who were holding shields the riot police whispered something and the police officer told the other police officers and they went oh we're arresting these guys and they took these three police officers the agent provocateurs that were pretending to be part of the protest into their custody and they pretended you know while well, they handcuffed them and stuff like this they had them on the ground and check this out this is why we know they were all wearing the same brand new shoes is because the video shows all of them wearing the same type of shoes which is what police officers do they have the same uniforms right so this went to court right and all this information was revealed in the freedom of information the court proceedings that yes there were three police officers trying to start a violent trying to turn a peaceful protest into a violent protest so the state so the police could bash in canadian heads all right as far as i'm concerned as far as i'm concerned now i'm a peaceful guy as far as i'm concerned those three cops that tried to do this and their superiors all those people that gave these orders to these three cops that tried to do this 
they should have been arrested right put in prison no bail lock the keys right put them on trial for terrorism lock them up for 20 years minimum right that's as far as I'm concerned because there were children at that protest those pieces of crap as far as I'm concerned if there was capital punishment in Canada they should have faced capital punishment okay those are agent provocateurs and they're in almost every peaceful protest you will find in all Western countries and probably other countries as well okay